Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aquapros. Today we're talking about aquarium plants and their ability to uptake multiple forms of nitrogen, in turn filtering our water. Now after watching this video, you may question whether or not running a filter on your heavily planted aquarium is really 100% necessary. Let's start our discussion. Before we jump into this topic, we need to establish an understanding of how all types of organisms, including aquarium plants, uptake important compounds. Several different types of transmembrane protein receptors and channels are found embedded in plant leaves. They span across the width of the lipid bilayer and serve to regulate the uptake of charged compounds. Generally, these receptors are compound specific, meaning that they're designed to only allow in certain molecules. This action is unlike that of a key and lock, the molecule being the key and the receptor being the lock. We use compound X in our example, which can either be positively or negatively charged. When this compound binds to its paired receptor, a conformational change takes place, allowing X to enter the cell. This process can be controlled by intracellular signals, which can activate or inactivate the receptor based upon whether or not the cell needs the compound. If a molecule is small enough and does not have a charge or is nonpolar, it's free to diffuse across the plant's bilayer without any type of regulation. We depict this action with molecule Y. Let's now apply what we've learned to important nitrogen-based compounds in our aquarium. Nitrate is a negatively charged compound which tends to accumulate in our aquarium over time. Plants can regulate the uptake of nitrate and use in subsequent biochemical reactions. However, using this form of nitrogen costs the cell energy because it first must be biochemically reduced back to ammonia, which is the main precursor in a process called nitrogen assimilation where the plant synthesizes new nitrogen-based compounds such as amino acids. Research has shown that many aquarium plants avoid using this pathway if a better, less expensive form of nitrogen is available. With that being said, ammonium is a positively charged compound which plants can also regulate the uptake of. Don't forget that it also exists in an equilibrium with its toxic counterpart, ammonia. When ammonium binds to its specific receptor, it's allowed entrance into the cell. Now once inside, there's no need to expel any energy because ammonium is already in a usable form. This is why most plants prefer this compound over nitrate. Now because these two forms of nitrogen are in an equilibrium with one another, when ammonium concentrations are reduced, so are the concentrations of ammonia. This is further amplified by the fact that ammonia is a nonpolar molecule. It's free to diffuse into the cell and be used in the same fashion. Now because this process is unregulated, high concentrations of this compound can still be toxic to plants. So how does knowing these facts potentially change the way you run your aquarium? Well, knowing that ammonia and ammonium are a better nitrogen source for many plants, you may consider under-filtering your aquarium if you have a heavily planted tank. With excess filtration comes higher concentrations of nitrate and lower concentrations of ammonium. This can be counterproductive based upon the previous information, and is why we can justify under-filtration as well as not using a biofilter at all on some of our planted aquariums. To review, nitrate is a negatively charged compound and that's uptake is regulated by the plant. It must be biochemically reduced once inside, costing the plant energy. Ammonium uptake is regulated and does not cost the plant any additional energy, therefore being a better option. This ammonium consumption then by definition will reduce the concentrations of toxic ammonia. Ammonia is nonpolar and is free to diffuse into the plant cell where it can be used in the same way. Running a traditional filter on your heavily planted aquarium might not always be necessary due to the ability of plants to remove several forms of nitrogen that may harm your fish. To learn more about nutrient uptake by plants, as well as several techniques to help you master your planted aquarium, check out more of our aquarium science videos on our website.